Uh, this morning, Dr. Cheryl and I had a sharing circle where we talked about our feelings. <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely did. It was great. It was nice. Yeah. Well, it kind of started off with like um, a nice message I got on Instagram, and then we started talking about like just our like growing up and how we like overcompensate sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, how we kind of develop into the people that we are today is directly reflective of like how we were raised, our experiences, different traumas. That we <laughs> traumas, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's nice because then you can kind of share those experiences and it, I think it really is a bonding experience because then you're able to like really identify with the other person that they've gone through. I feel like, yeah, I think we're both very similar when it comes to like the, the ideologies that we have. And I think it's really important, like you sometimes, especially being a new veterinarian, like you really, I think that you had mentioned this to me, like when I first talked to you, is that you really need to have somebody who believes in you when you don't believe in yourself. And that's the biggest, most important thing I think as a new vet is that there are so many times where you absolutely feel like you should not be a vet <laughs> or you're not worthy to be a vet, especially when you're like by yourself or like when you don't necessarily have other veterinarians who are experiencing the same right. thing that you're experiencing and then you feel as though you're the worst vet that exists when it's not true, but we do constantly have this negative story going in our head all the time. So it's nice to have somebody else outside of your mind that's telling you like, hey, you're actually not that bad, <laughs> right? And you need that. Yeah, absolutely. That. So many times in my life where I've had like, where I felt like I was the only sane one in a world of insane people, but then the opposite can creep in too. Like, am I the crazy one? Yeah, yeah, right? that like, is Like, why true. is nobody else like doing this or thinking about this or reflecting in something in a similar way? Mm -hmm. So then you like start to get really in your own head. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and I think you, the, it's important to really surround yourself around people who, are not necessarily like like-minded but who are positive who want very similar things so that you can kind of feed off of each other because it's really true like the people that you surround yourself with will create the type of behavior that you display so you have to be cautious who you're going to share that with and if it's negative people and i've been there you develop negative tendencies and behavior so we have to be cautious that the people we're surrounding ourselves with are going to lift us up make what? us feel good because you're always here which i think is really important and good right and there's always that like point of contact which i think is really important in any vet clinic having the person who owns your clinic um, be a positive <laughs> constant is important um but just like all of the team really like anybody who we're that I'm around every single day is like very positive, outgoing, like willing to help, which is really important. And I think that's what really makes the team special is that we can really, if somebody's not feeling good about something, we can really work together and kind of lift the other person up. I think that's really tight. Okay, we'll let you get back to work. We'll let you get back to work. That's so nice. Isn't she so perfect? Oh, stop. <laughs>